why Christians shouldn't support Palestine. Firstly, because this land was given by God exceptionally to the Jews. Second, Jesus will return to a Jewish Israel and not to a Jewish free Palestine. And third, he must meet the Jews here, his brothers in the flesh, who will exclaim, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And now, a little more detail. The Biblical Palestinians, also known as Philistines, were the main enemies of Israel when the Jews, descendants of Abraham, owned the Promised Land. God never had a plan for Philistines and wanted complete destruction of these people because of their idolatry. And this is exactly what happened later, but not by the hands of the Jews. In the 4th century BC, Alexander the Great conquered Gaza and killed all the men and sold the women and children into slavery. With the arrival of the Greeks, the history of Philistines is completely erased. After the Greeks came the Romans. Already in our era, Jesus before the crucifixion prophesied that Jerusalem would be destroyed and not one stone shall be left upon another. In 70 AD, the Roman Emperor Titus conquered and destroyed the Jewish Temple and Jerusalem itself, and Jews were scattered among other nations. In the year 135 AD, on the site of Jewish Jerusalem, Emperor Hadrian built a new pagan city, which he named Elia Capitolina in the honor of three pagan gods, Jupiter, Junona, and Minerva and wanting to sever in the minds of the Jews any connection with their land, he cruelly named it Philistine or Palestine in defiance of the Jews because he knew that historically the Philistines were the sworn enemies who by that time not existed more than 500 years. So the land promised to the Jews for almost two millennia care this shameful name for itself, Palestine and the established inhabitants of Palestine were considered to be Jews, of whom a small remnant always remained here. By supporting the idea of Palestine in the modern state of Israel, people support the vision of Hadrian, who for many centuries ago wanted to erase the memory of Jews from the face of the earth. Now it is clear from where the popular slogan comes today. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. Interesting, should Jesus support this idea? Who is going to return specifically to Israel and not to Palestine? Who is going to meet at the moment of his return here precisely with Jews, his people according to the flesh? He plans that it is they who will see him here when they declare Baruch Abba Beshem Adonai. And if Palestine will be free, as the supporters of so-called Palestinians proclaim today, then free from whom? Of course, from the Jews. How then will the prophecies about the return of Yeshua be fulfilled? Bible says that the land promised by God from the sea to the river belongs to Israel. God has his plan and not the Palestinian one, the plan of the return of the Messiah and the salvation of Israel. Those who proclaim freedom for Palestine deliberately go against the word of God like Hadrian, who hate Israel and its God. The very idea of Palestine is based on hatred of the Jewish people and their God. Will Christians who believe in Jesus, who was Jew, really take a neutral position? And what about the Arabs living in Gaza Strip and the territories of Judea and Samaria? We will talk about it in the next video. Yeah.